when we're talking about villain, what I like to say is that a villain to really care, you know, to really feel that 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 thing inside of you when you meet a villain and feel that this character did something or do something that will change my perspective, I think that's that's a powerful villain. Where a villain, you don't really know if he's black or white. Is it, you know, that's a shade of gray. That is a human being with the same strength and weaknesses as any normal human. He just has more, you know, more possibility, more power to do things that normally a normal person wouldn't have. Wouldn't, wouldn't have. So having like a Dr. Dominguez and exploring him more like a human being really help us elev elevate Lara's internal, uh, internal conflict, internal struggle. Because Lara, she's like, you know, she doesn't know her place in the world yet. You know, she knows who she is, she knows what she's capable of, but she doesn't know yet what's her place in the world. From a, uh, an antagonist, I like to use the antagonist and the evil character, because, you know, <laughs> he's not, you know, the villain. I like the antagonist because he's really an antagonist. Because he's the hero of his own story. Because Dominguez, he has noble goals. But the way to reach it, it's like Lara, you know? She, Lara also has noble goals. They share noble goals. They, both of them try to make the best of the world. But they, their way to perceive that world, or their way to try to fix that world, or help that world is very different. And that's where the conflict 